Training's been going okay. Uh, it's just been <laughs> quite a long time now. I've been away three months away from my family and based here in Ethiopia. All getting ready for one race, London Marathon on 28th of April. Training's gone well. Um, I'm happy with where the training's at. Since like training for the marathon, it, I find it it's different to the when I was training for the track. So marathon is more longer, more longer runs, more longer intervals, a um, lot more miles than I was doing when I was run, training for the track. So every day you're pretty much just running on tired legs, but it, I'm enjoying it. And um, definitely you have to put in the work in terms of if you want to get the best out of yourself. Ethiopia is fun, it's fun. Um, I've, I've, I've built a nice group and I do enjoy training with the guys. The only thing that makes it hard is there's no air. We're almost at 10,000 feet above sea level. So you imagine that, doing most of your runs there, most of the training, it's just every day, it's tough. But I guess, you know, hopefully we'll make it worth it when it comes to London. Yeah, you do feel it different. Uh, actually, you do feel it big time in terms of for the first week, for the first, you know, eight days or so you've got to take it easy you've got to adapt to it once you adapt the body gets used to a bit more then you can just go a little bit harder at the beginning they were kind of like mo farah mo farah just shouting out uh, but now they've got used to me now and uh, i've been here three months i'm almost come a, a local lad really because most of the ethiopian guys you wouldn't see them hanging out or going to the local village or drinking coffee and stuff like they do the training and then shoot off to Addis Ababa that's where they're most of them base but for me I like to mix in with the community and just enjoy it because I guess you know why are you going to restrict yourself and go like I can't go here I can't go here I'm definitely in better shape I am in better shape. I'm doing definitely a lot more different stuff than what I did leading up to London Marathon. Um, I've, I've definitely learned a lot running London Marathon last year and then winning Chicago for me was a, a massive deal. Um, that definitely built my confidence and but London's never going to be easy for me. I guess you know you've got Elia Kipchoge world record holder, you've got so many guys, you've got the uh, half marathon world record holder too. You've got so many guys and I think if I can get the support from the crowd and have the home, the home nation behind me, it's going to be hopefully a great race. Last year I learned the hard way. <laughs> First of all, you go off like a rocket and I had no choice but to go with it. Um, and then secondly, you know, just hold on, uh, hold on to as much as I can to Elliot Kipchoge because when I went off, I was hoping there'd be second group. There was no second group. Everybody just went off. I looked behind me, there's nobody behind me. I was like, what choice am I going to have? Just go with it. So I went with them and um, got up to halfway ridiculously fast, broke pretty much all the national records going leading up to it. Uh, but I, I think overall, I was happy with the race. To finish third uh, was such a great field in, in terms of depth. Well, we had Kanini Sabikili, we had Elliot, we had myself. Uh, we had the former winner of the previous years. Um, Danny Wanjiru. So to, to come away with third, personal best, British record, uh, it was nice. Gary's my coach and um, he's someone who's, you know, to see you what you're doing in training, if things are going well, things are not going well, to give you the training sessions. And he has the experience of obviously being a coach and, um, you know, having experience in, and, and it's good to have him. No, I don't work like that. I work on a daily basis. He tells me pretty much the day before what I was going to do. But roughly, because I've been running so much, I know what I need in terms of just easy runs. I know what paces to run. And some days if you feel tired, you go slightly less. Some days you feel fresh, you add another couple of miles. And then in the sessions, that's where Gary comes in and he works out what I need and, and, and figure out in the race, what, what, what am I missing? And looking at your training, what you're missing, he, he hands you out. For example, like today, you saw us on the track. We were doing continue, continue on, and uh, that was kind of like a marathon pace, similar thing. So we're practicing that, and then other times you do tempo, you do the long run, and um, it's good. It's good to have him around. I think 
It's really important as every athlete, even myself, to have people around you, that people that you like, people that you get on well with and you can have fun with. Because running is a lonely event, for example, like, you know, you just have to put in work day in, day out. So you imagine today, like I've already trained in the morning, done a session, in the afternoon probably it involved another run and then another gym. So you train three times and it's nice to have like people who are looking out for you, whether it's training partners or your friends. And it's just nice to have as a, as a, com a company. Yeah, everyone has a weakness, no matter who you are. I don't care if it's Floyd Mayweather, Tyson, anyone who's like, you know, David Beckham, everybody has weakness and that's just part of us, which is part of human. And I think that the quicker you honest to yourself and you know it, the easier it is you can deal with it. If you've got a bad temper, you've got bad temper, that's what you just who you are. If you're all right and you get wind up by someone, just, it's just how it is. And for me, I'm just being honest, I have a problem with sugar, I have a problem with sweets. I love candy stuff and, um, and if I open like a packet of biscuit or packet of sweets, I just have to finish it no matter how big it is, if it's this big, this big, uh, it's just true, I ain't lying about it. <laughs> I'm really excited, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think Elliot ain't going to be easy. But at the same time, I think I just have to run my own race, focus on my own thing and figure out what I need to do as a Mo Farah and how am I going to win it and how am I going to have close to, you know, come close to winning and how am I going to beat these guys? That's what I've got to figure out. What keeps me motivated is just seeing my kids and, and seeing, you know, what I could even do more and, and, and actually enjoying the sport. If you're still enjoying it, up for it, it's different and I said, you know, from the track, I want to go to the road because the track, you know, you win something and sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you're not quite motivated. You have to be motivated. And in the marathon, for me, I'm more motivated because it's, I've, never, I've never done this before. It's something new to me and that, even the training and what you do.